Today we're talking about the Voyager 1 spacecraft. Went out into space in 1977 and it has a gold record uh, with a bunch of information about human existence. There's analog encrypted photographs and there's like greetings in like in 55 different languages, ancient languages, modern languages, including about 90 minutes of music. The fact that music is one of those categories, one of those like, and this is part of our beauty, part of our creation, is automatically like one of the most interesting things I've ever heard. You know, yeah. that, that there's a record with music that humans have made, songs, pieces that you love and that you've heard and that you know, that was just flung out into cosmic space. Basically, it's deciding sort of your extraterrestrial dating profile. <laughs> you want to come here? This is what we've done. There's a bunch of different selections of music, including like Beethoven's String Quartet Number no. 13, beautiful Mozart uh, pieces, and there's stuff from different regions. There's traditional Chinese music, and there's like this traditional Mexican piece that's amazing. Johnny B. Good, Chuck Berry's Johnny B. Good is on there. I guess, you know, I'm assuming music that Carl Sagan and, and the, the curation panel at Cornell University felt that it was like a, uh, important music. They didn't put any Stones or Beatles on there. They couldn't decide. Carl Sagan wanted Here Comes the Sun on there. And there was a dispute with the label, like with the EMI, that they, they didn't want. Of course, the Beatles were like, yeah, man, sure, you know, like, we'd love that. And then, like, the label was like, no. That is the ultimate label, like, no. You want Here Comes the Sun to go out into cosmic space? Nope. There's 90 minutes of music on there in, in human time. Don't know how long that means for the other civilization who's going to hear it, but... Um, but yeah, interesting to think about what you would put on that record. If you were one of the curators, would you put on just like your favorite nostalgic record from this time, or would you think about what represents musicality and the human nature and music and humans being uh, meant for each other. If you keep playing your part in music history, maybe someday your music could end up floating in space. Pretty cool. We gotta send speakers too. Wireless speakers, big ones, big speakers. We gotta pump this music into space. <laughs>